Volvo 850 a quick video about camshafts in your turbo engine you will be getting one type of camshaft then the 20 valve naturally aspirated has its own type of camshafts they are lengthwise they are the same the runners are the same size but what differs in these cams is that the naturally aspirated cam has uh, slightly more lift and slightly more uh, duration to the open time uh, or to the valve open time so let's go uh, ahead and start with identifying your cam on the cam face up here you will see of course the Volvo part number and then after that there will be a P and then there will be another letter and then the last letter E for exhaust or I for intake. This actually says P G E. So this is uh, the G. Uh, I know it's a naturally aspirated one. How I remember that is that I think of all naturally aspirated engines as GLTs. So this P G E. This is a naturally aspirated exhaust cam. And this other cam I have this is the this says p h i so this h is actually the turbo cam so but let's take some measurements to see the actual difference in lift you can do this easily with a gauge both cams have a thickness thickness on the lobes or the diam diameter of the rolls as 32 millimeters and then you can measure the lift thusly and here we will see 40 millimeters so 32 minus 40 will give you 8 millimeters of lift so this cam lifts 8 millimeters in the turbo engine then if we take the naturally aspirated cam we see still 32 millimeters and the lift we have 40.5 40.6 so basically eight and a half millimeters so you will be getting one sixteenth more lift or going from eight millimeters to eight point five millimeters and it's very hard to see with the naked eye but if we have the naturally aspirated cam here and the turbo cam here you'll see that this uh, actually you can't see it but the the naturally aspirated cam has a bit more of a lobe back the lobe angle is bigger so it will lift a longer time than the turbo one uh, the main benefits of doing this mod is actually that uh, while you are on uh, high revs with your engine you will be getting uh, more more air coming through and the, the effective working range of the cam is higher so you'll actually be moving the power band of your turbo engine f about mm, in lay perhaps 500 rpms up in the scale so you'll be getting the, the power surge will come 500 rpms later but then it will be much stronger on high revs and where the en engine really starts to pull these uh, turbo cams are from the factory made to be make the engine real strong and torquey on the low, low, low end of the rev range and if you see any, any papers on how when people have dyno their engines you'll quickly see that uh, after say five six thousand rpm more closer to five the power starts really dropping off on our engines so taking a naturally aspirated 20 valve cam will give you the benefit of actually maintaining the power higher up in the range and give you ultimately more power and mo more flow through your head it will the effects on fuel economy is really nothing to consider because they are so neg negligible. 
hard word, net jiggly bra. Yeah, net jiggly bra. Yeah, they cannot be, <laughs> shouldn't be considered because it's so, so very little. And uh, the sometimes after 2000, these cam lobes and the bearing surface and everything, they move from 32 millimeter to 34 millimeter in the S60Rs and these models. They have uh, much thicker cams from factory, so so they cannot be put in the 850 turbos and first generation V70 turbos. But the good news is if you can find a dual overhead 850 engine with 20 valves from 1991 and all the way up to say something like 99-ish before the variable valve, valve timing engines come along then you can take those cams and put them in your in your 850 turbo or first generation B70 turbo and you'll then be getting more flow through your head, more power and actually a bit of more safety in your engine because when you make the power, make the, the peak torque in uh, higher up in the rev range the, the the power generated is generated by more revolutions of the engine or the connecting rods, the pistons and everything so it will be safer for your engine in my humble opinion to make the power in the top and uh, power and torque up the rev range compared to down low where it puts really high stress on all the components to, with very few revolutions, make uh, a lot of torque and power. So, to summarize, PGI, the G is from the naturally aspirated or GLTs, the H, PHI, that's the turbo cam, and uh, the last letter, I for intake, E for exhaust, and uh, if we compare these two, you really there is no way to to tell them apart otherwise because uh, here the I have put them now in the same exact exact way on the table and all the angles of the cam journals and everything they are exactly exactly the same so I think it could be possible actually to run two intake cams and two exhaust cams. I'll put the factory specifications of both uh, cams in the description with the official opening uh, opening duration and lift in millimeters. Thanks, see you next time.